going on? Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Howdy, Noodle. Welcome, love. Hello to the YouTubes and things as well. We're playing some more Morrowind today. I remembered something for the first time possibly in my life. <clears throat> I remembered something. It's amazing. I'm very proud of myself. So basically, um, I couldn't remember or didn't know like what to do next. And I, I'll be honest, I don't remember like what we were doing last week exactly or anything. But I remember there was that that seer lady or uh, whatever she was called. I can't remember like what she was called. Um, shaman lady something. I don't remember. But you're loud, dude. Why are you so loud, bro? Anyways, uh, <laughs> if we pull up the map here, um, or go to the map here, over here, one of these camps over here, which apparently we've more or less walked, like, all this distance, so maybe we'll just walk over to there. But anyways, one of these camps, there's a lady there, and she told us to do some stuff, and after we did that stuff, we were supposed to come back uh, for her to tell us more, to, like, confirm whether we are the Nerevarine or whatever, so I think we need to go back and talk to her again. Although, with that said, I think we're doing like a Fighter's Guild quest right now. So, maybe we finish the quest first. Uh, Mage's Guild, Mage's Guild, Fighter's Guild. Tenum's Bounty. Get a contract for the outlaw Rel's Tenum. If I find Rel's Tenum, who was last seen in Voss, and bring him to justice, there's a reward of 200 gold. So, are we in Voss right now? I'm guessing... Yes. Oh, that's right. But he was, like, supposed to be over here somewhere. So, I mean, we'll finish doing what we started first, of course. But, yeah. After that, though, we have we have a goal in mind now, at least. Like, we know more or less what we're doing. So, we're going to do this Fighter's Guild quest because we've already started it. And then we're going the exact opposite direction of where we're heading right now. And gonna gonna try to find uh, the lady at the camp and see if we are indeed the Nervarine. Which, I mean, I think it's pretty safe to assume that we are at this point. Because we're the main character of the game. But, like, <laughs> but besides that, you know, just in general, I think it's, uh, yeah. Oh, everything seems to be pointing to us being who everybody seems to think we are. I came in here to check my weight and then I completely missed it. 395 out of 500. We can carry 500 pounds, bro. That's pretty sick, honestly. I'm pretty happy about that. Especially after, because I've been playing a little bit of Skyrim lately, and, like, I can't even carry 300 in that. Uh, I'm not looking for a healer. Not even necessarily looking for your trader. I'm looking for a specific person. But it doesn't seem like you'll give me any info on them. Nord? Just Nord? Uh, they're the ancient enemies of the Dunmer. In the time of the prophet Veloth, the Nords invaded our lands and drove us out of the good places. Later, we grew strong and cunning, and we came down and slew them and took our land back. Since then, we have kept our land free for the Nord of the Nords. <laughs> they're always scheming to return and seal our good places. I uh, hate to tell you, but they kind of win in the long run, don't they? Could be wrong. Uh, but where is your traitor? Lanaby has her yurt with the Ashcons and the Gulacons yurts. Okay, whatever. Eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> that's more like a, a bonus thing anyways. Are you the traitor? Muthsera? Ropley? Dreams and visions? I believe you are the ones I've seen in my dreams and visions. Uh, Possibly. What of your dreams and visions? Past seven nights, I have had dreams of a white guar. I know this to be an animal sent by the gods to help my tribe. We have been suffering greatly from disease, and none of my magic will cure the ailment. Find this white guar for a stranger. Let it lead you to a new hope for my people? Sure, I'll totally find the white guar. <laughs> Any info on where it is? No. Okay, well, very helpful. Thank you. Yes, I'll bend it. You... You also have nothing to tell me? Uh, okay. Oh, hey, you also have a wise one. Maybe that's what she would... Wait. <laughs> this isn't it, is it? Is this the camp that I was thinking of? <laughs> no. No, I, I think it just has, like, a somewhat similar layout to the one I was thinking of. 
Yeah, no, because you have, like, completely different things. Okay. Yeah, so it's just similar. That's that's fine, then. I was very... <laughs> when I saw this, because this is in the other one as well. Hello. Are you a Pacwar? You are a Pacwar. Bro, I didn't know those existed. That's pretty cool. Monobies yurt. Co Coffee's yurt. Then... No. Is it the ash? Oh, no, it's in between. Is it yours? Are you the traitor? Wannabe has her. Oh, Wannabe. Okay. Saying. Not you. Not you. Not you. Is it this one? This one. Hello, I hear you trade. Will you take some of my stuff? How much money do you have? You have 75 gold. That should be more than enough. It's fine. Um, do we? What do we actually have to sell? Anything that we're looking to get rid of? This orcish tower shield, but it's 2,000. Uh, we have all these, like, things that we never really use. Your poison could be handy. That's definitely handy. Divine intervention. Restore fatigue. We can get potions for that. And it only has a value of five. Let's get rid of that. The Ring of Healing also sucks. Let's get rid of that, too. Protect Key. Uh, I mean, maybe. Medusa's Gaze is really nice. Nate, hello, sir. How's Pal World going, my guy? Uh, well, how much will you give me for that? Not much. Anything else I want to sell? We, we could sell some of our raw glass, because I don't really know what to use it for. But that's definitely going to take us over the amount. Uh, Shulk resin. Re resin? Resin. One of those. There you go. We're already over the amount, so that's fine. What is this? That's just a plate. It's just a plate. Okay. I will take all of your gold, lady. Okay. So we're looking for... Oh, we're looking for a dude, though. What was the dude's name again? White Guar. White Guar. do 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 we already did that one. Rel's Tenum is who we're looking for. Okay. Kind of want to take a bath, but you also want to play Animal Crossing? Do both. That's the great thing about the Switch. Just careful you don't drop it. I'm listening. I'm looking for Go a ahead. specific person. You... You do not give me info either. Nobody gives me info on this person whose name I've kind of forgotten. Rel's Tenum, I think it was. What's You're that? the traitor. I've been here before. You know a person named Rel's Tenum? Ah, Rel's Tenum. Man went to the cavern of Shalot, Shalot? Shalot? A Shalot. On a small island southwest of Ald Daedroth. Oh, God. He left at night when neither Messer nor Secunda could be seen. Perhaps this is the man you seek. To get there, cross the water to the first island north of camp. Okay. From that island, travel northwest. So north, the northwest. And then it's on that island. Okay. So north to the first island. And then northwest, two more islands. North and then Do northwest. Or two islands. So it's on one of these islands up here. Outlander. Hello. Goodbye. How's it going? Well, you've made some changes to the base. Also got a high quality crafting bench just now and a sphere bench. We're also base level 12 now. E, I, I mean, I was on earlier. I don't know if you saw me or not, or if you were too engrossed with everything, but I saw you're putting down like new um, chests and all that stuff. Uh, what am I doing? I forget how to play the game. Excuse me. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, dispose of corpse. That's fine. Uh, anyways, yeah, I saw you're making some changes and things. I'm excited to see, like, all the new stuff. I'm also planning. I, I already told some other people on the server. I'll tell you as well. I'm planning on starting another server. Um, but with slightly harder rules nothing crazy but like some slightly harder rules i'm not sure what like all of the settings are that i can change and uh that one's gonna be like have pvp and stuff enabled i don't know what the pvp's like but yeah 
and it's meant more for like solo runs and stuff like that um but it's going on like my actual server server that i have so i don't know if it's gonna run as well to be perfectly honest with you but <laughs> that way like we can do solo runs as well if we want that's that's more or less the point um i don't suspect with our group pvp and like griefing or anything's really gonna be a thing at least i hope it's not but i think it'd be nice to get the experience of like building up things ourselves as well but that's in the future. For now, I'm just going to continue to play on the one that everybody's playing on for... If I have any time to play tonight, for sure, and then tomorrow, most likely. I also plan for the for the Power World server here within the, probably tomorrow, honestly. I'm going to set up, like, backups and whatnot for the server. So I'll let you guys know. It's going to be a time when I don't expect anybody to really be on that that stuff will happen. But, like, yeah. And a lot more. We have a storage room now. Oh, like a whole room for storage? Really? That's crazy. Like in the house? Or you build a whole other building for it? You're enjoying the co-op? Oh, yeah, no. Now, I think co-op's a great way to learn the game. But eventually, I think I want to, like, do everything on my own, you know? Plus, you know me. I'm a survival game player <laughs> like <laughs> i don't like fast travel i considered disabling fast travel on this server even but i was like well i feel like other people are probably gonna want fast travel though so it would feel a little rude to disable it on this one and then uh yeah pvp i think is a good option it's like you can still have guilds I don't know if there's an option to disable them or not. If there is, I might. That way everybody has to work alone. But like I said, we're still just experimenting with the game because I don't know what like any of the options do or any of that stuff, you know? But yeah. Yeah. As long as it's good by game night and in the house. Oh, yeah. No. No, no, no. 100%. It'll be... Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not going to... The stuff, the changes that I make won't have it down for any extended period of time. Um, what I think it's, I'm going to do is have, like, the... Oops, don't hit that. Have the server restart, like, every morning when, like, most of us are in bed. And then around a specific time. Like I said, I'll let everybody know what time that's going to be. I haven't decided exactly yet, but... Anyways, and then have, like, a, a daily backup of it made. That way, like, if it dies or anything, we don't lose more than one day's worth of progress. I'm more boss. Oh, no, you're good, man. <laughs> I, I didn't think you were being bossy or anything. You're fine. Sonny, I think this is where he said the dude was, right? Chilly, chilly. Okay, just chilly. Hopefully it should be a little bit warmer in here. Oh, shit. I just realized with, like, how much we were jumping around that we have no stamina. So we're going to let our stamina regen here for a second. Um, but, yeah, that's all. I'm just so, like, it shouldn't take long even every night. It depends on how long it takes to, like, make the backup. The computer itself restarts super quick. And then I'll have a script that automatically restarts the server as soon as it comes back online. Um, so, yeah. And the server itself, I haven't checked since we started playing, but when I first downloaded it, it was only a handful of gigs. So, like, it shouldn't take super long to make a backup of it or anything like that. But, again, I just, I would hate for us to lose our progress because something gets, like, corrupted or something. And then it's just like, well, the save's borked and <laughs> there's nothing we can do. So, I think backups are definitely necessary. And, uh, with any... Thing restarting it every once in a while is a good idea just to ensure you know stability and all that good stuff. So I figure do a backup, restart the server uh, once a day. This should be a, a pretty good compromise between having it up as much as possible and keeping everything stable and safe. Lee Lee, hello. As for the uh, just redeemed hydrate more survival focused game uh server uh, if people want in it I, i'll give them the info for that too like 
people that I regularly play games with and trust. <laughs> I'm not going to open it to the public, but anyways. I'll give them the info for that too. But it's not even set up yet because I need to look at INI files, see what settings can be changed. Mess around with it a little bit and see what I want to do. And then, uh, and then basically wipe it, give anybody who wants the info the info, and then start. There's somebody upstairs. There's also apparently a rat right here. The rat is dead. GG rat. Sucks to be you. What are we, like, carrying that's so heavy, man? <laughs> it's a bad rat. It tried to kill me. Is it this? Uh, we are carrying 100 pounds of raw glass. So that's probably a big part of it. We're also carrying like 30 pounds of <laughs> more than 30 pounds of various potions. So <laughs> I guess there's that. Rats are friends, not food. No, they're food. They're not very tasty food, but they're food. Uh Oh, God. You're not very nice, are you? Okay, uh, we need to do a couple things uh, before before death takes us. Okay, restore health potion. I definitely want to down one of those. And then from the magic here, belt of the armor of God. Oh. I want to make him come down here if possible and get me so that I can like start to melee him. And then, want to get the good demon Tonto out? Oh, dude, he ended up being so much easier than I thought. Bravosi Henum. You're not what I thought. Ooh, Rising Force Potion. You're not even who I was looking for, though. That's rude of you. How dare you not be the person I'm here to murder. Uh, ba 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 ba. Rouse Tenum is an outlaw house, which is not a small. Oh. Shalit. I don't think we're in the right hideout. <laughs> no, we're in hideout Sawney. Damn it! Um, well, okay, since we're here, do you have any stuff that I can, like, steal? Anything, anything good here? You have a bed. Beds are nice, I guess. Uh, don't care. Clothes. Don't care. I don't know what books, like, give us stuff. I'm not gonna steal your grief. You can keep your grief. What's it? Drain agility? Mm, yeah, no. Hey! Alchemy increased. Very nice. Hey, restore health. That's always good. Bug musk isn't bad. I don't know what the negative effects of skooma are. Flynn's not bad either. It's just fortify strength and willpower. We'll take. Grief? Nah. We don't need the grief. I got enough grief. I don't need yours. Oh, hey. A master set of gear. I already have a master set, but if I didn't, I'll take your ingredients. So you're just like a random alchemist that I raided and then murdered, I guess. <laughs> like, oh, my bad. Empty vial. Uh, This is all stuff. I'll take stuff. I, I love how this is marked as stealing. Like, this dude attacked me, tried to murder me. But I'm not allowed to steal his stuff? Like... That seems weird to me. Take, yeah. Take all of that. I like the windows here. Too bad they're not, like, real, you know? But I mean, old game. I guess it's... It's fine. Uh, where else? There was another path over here. Another hallway. Might as well go down it, since we're already here. So I wonder if it's not on this island. I'm wondering if you look at the map up in the top right. I'm wondering if it's the island that I'm pointing at there. Dead rat, best rat. Also, uh, wrong uh, sword. Here we are. Hello? I'll wait you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm busy, so if you will excuse me. <laughs> She's so chill. I just murdered this dude. You don't care? I don't know you. What do you want? Who are you? 
Healer and Hireling for the Great Hills Tovani? Wait. Did I just, like, make an enemy of the Tovani here? Why is this door trapped? Was that, like, a slave in there? You got a slave? Here, hold on. I gotta free this dude if I can. Uh, probe. Probe it! Eventually. Give it a good probing. Should, uh... Should open in no time. There we go. Hello, you. Um, does not know what things do you want. Nothing? Do you want to be free? Well, if you if you decide you want to be free, you're welcome to be now, I guess. Are you being mean to rats? I'm murdering rats, because rats are murderers. Well, like, the rats aren't murderers, but they were trying to murder me. Are you going to try to murder me? No, you're chill. Why are, like, some of you chill and then some of you are such assholes here, man? Like, if the other people didn't come running at me, I wouldn't have even tried to murder them, but... Wait, was that the whole place? I went down there. Hammer, yeah, and this just loops around, huh? Okay. Well, this was a lot smaller place than I expected. Guess we can leave now. So it could still be on this island somewhere. We might have just went to the wrong one because I'm dumb. That's a real possibility. Me being dumb is always a, a possibility. But I am thinking maybe it's on that one there. This is more like northwest and then north again, this island. Whereas that's more like what I would consider to be northwest, northwest. You know? So I'm thinking maybe we go to that one and see what happens. Oh my god, slaughterfish. They're annoying. Oh yes, I showed Noodle her heart and she loved it. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for that, I guess. Ms. Lily. Going for a swim in our favorite rocket swim. <laughs> I have little Einstein stuck on my head tonight. And I blame Lily for it. Why are we very cold? I guess the water here must be chilly. Can we fill our water jugs while we're like swimming in the water here? It should be nice, cool, refreshing water, I suppose, huh? I hear you. Oh, it's a crab man. Hi, crab man. You're dead. Oh, shit. There's somebody else. Where? Bro. Oh, hi. There's multiple. I hate the fish in this game so much, man. These are the worst enemies in the game. <laughs> Die, you bastard. Why can I not hit you? Okay, it's fine. He's gone. Get out of the water. We're very cold. We're going to start, like, taking damage soon. Okay, so I'm assuming it's here somewhere. More cliff racers. I mean, your plumes are worth money, so I'm not going to be too mad at you, but, like, bleh. Could it be that tiny island there? No, there's no way there's even, like, an entrance to anything there, right? No, I don't, I don't think it's going to be there. I think it's going to be here somewhere. Aha, like, maybe here? Scuttlebug! I think it's called a scuttlebug, right? What are you called? Oh, shulk. Well, <laughs> I don't know what a scuttlebug is then, but, like, it's fine. Uh, nope, that's an ancestral tomb. Hmm. We should use a hammer, because apparently some of our stuff has taken some damage. Also, we really suck at this whole repairing thing thing. Let's go. Okay. 
we still have we still have so many hammers <laughs> that's another big chunk of weight and there's really no reason for us to carry that many of them but whatever man what else are we gonna do with them you know it's fine did they give us a better hint on where we're going uh, to get there, I should travel northwest. Come to an old Dwemer ruin? I have traveled too far. Well, the old Dwemer ruin is like over here somewhere. I remember seeing that on the map. Not on the map, but like when we were up on the hill. But I'm assuming, like I said, I think it's on this island somewhere. But I thought he had given us better directions. I guess not, though. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, zero. Nope, that's hand-to-hand. -hand. There it is. It was nine. Let's go do a bit of healing. Okay, that's the one we just checked, so it's not that one. Are we hungry now or something? We are. We hunger. Let's eat some generic cooked meat. Don't worry about what kind. That's not important. I'd really rather not be hand-to-hand -hand game. No, not fishing. I'm not trying to fish. <laughs> Get the weapon out, you dumbass. <laughs> oh, God. Things are going well. It's fine. Everything is grand. Gotta be around here somewhere. I guess it doesn't have to be, but I think it is around here somewhere. Is that like a breeding ground for whatever those things are called? Oh, God. And I, I really don't want to be in the water. The water is very cold. It's cold and it's rude. Cool, we leveled up. That's nice and all. <laughs> but I'm more worried about dying of cold exposure. Oh, and there's slaughter fish around here somewhere. Uh, or crab people. I guess I don't know which. The slaughterfish. You're dead. Good job, slaughterfish. Anger? I hear anger. Oh, it's another slaughterfish. <laughs> They're dead now. Goodbye, fishies. It was good knowing you, friends. Okay, so those are the old Dwemer ruins. I'm assuming. So that's too far. It would be like here somewhere, right? Hello? Game? I think we've been around this whole island now. More or less. Well, it's got to be around here somewhere, man. Tempted to just, like, say, screw this guy. and Yeah, no, there's the thing we killed. So we have been around the whole area. Did I miss anything? I did. It's up here. That's why the local map is handy. It must be like on the coast, man. Like in the water, basically, or something. Oh yeah, it was right here. We were right there, I think. We were so close and then missed it because we're stupid. And then expected to be like literally in the water. Okay, hopefully we don't get attacked as soon as we come in here. Good, we didn't. So... Let's do some stuff. Some drugs, preferably. Um, <laughs> restore fatigue. That's the that's the one I want. Oh, good. It's wet in here, too. Hopefully, this water's at least, like, warm or something. It didn't restore as much fatigue as I was hoping, but whatever. We're taking it slow, anyways. Because I don't know what's in here. I don't know if he's going to be, like, right here. Or if we got to go deep in here. Hmm, we can use that potion to get up here. Should we? I guess we should probably go the long way around first and see, like, 
if it just leads up to there. So if it does, then we might as well save the the potion, right? Note to Giddon. Broadsword's trash. I don't care about that. What's the note, though? Giddon, here's a blade for the new man. Send him ahead and we'll set up his arrangements. Dinner is waiting, but not for you. <laughs> That's kind of rude. Mavrulia is sick again, so you've drawn sentry duty. Don't worry, you'll be getting a portion of his share. Stay alert. Bounty hunters are seeking us, but I feel fairly secure up here. Rels. Aha! Uh -huh. So Rels is here somewhere, but he's probably with a whole group of people. Is what it sounds like. So there's probably a few dudes we're going to have to murder. Do torches put out enough heat to, like, warm my body? Probably not. And a quick save in case game crashes. Should have, like, slept outside, honestly, and leveled up and stuff. Is it even worth leveling up yet, though? We have agility and endurance time three, so honestly, yeah, level up would be pretty dope. I mean, I guess, will the game let us sleep in here? <laughs> Can I camp in this water here? <laughs> if it'll let me, I'm totally gonna do it. Bruh, for real? Can only rest on solid ground. Okay, no. Pick up. So it's too wet, but <laughs> can we just like rest here in the middle of the path? Just take like a real quick nap. Enemies are nearby, okay. That's what I expected it to say the first time. But if enemies are nearby, I'm gonna get ready with like a good weapon. Getting the belt of God out would be probably a good idea too, but I'm more worried about weapons than I am anything else. Oh, that's like a proper staircase. That's fancy, man. You don't see that shit in caves too often. Are there people in here, though? No? This is weird, man. Okay. Well, let me rest here. It will. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bruh. Okay, whatever. I'm going to take my agility, endurance. Uh, and then probably just strength. Get that strength up to a nice even 100. Speed would be nice, but, you know, more starting health, more uh, carry weight, more fatigue, all of that stuff. Like, it's all good stuff. And how much damage you do in melee, like, that's just good stuff. And then that also gives us the ability to actually save, save. Stream 20. Oh, that's 12. Uh, let's try that again, shall we? 23. <laughs> That's better. Okay. Still gonna take it slow, though, because I still don't know who or where anybody is. No longer well-rested. Well, yeah, I didn't expect it to last too long. We took literally, like, we just kind of hung out for an hour, you know? Had a snack rested our legs spoiled slow fall now we have an amulet a slow fall in it oh there's literally a bedroll here i guess we could have just used that oh well oh light amulet light 20 points for 15 seconds on target uh actually that kind of seems like trash soul gems are worth money though and way next to nothing um uh, i'll take I'll take bargain rising force. Uh, sure, I guess. More rising force. That's making me believe that we do need to go up in the beginning. The fact that there's like so many rising force potions in here. But to be determined, I guess. Ooh, 198 gold. Always nice. Save again in case of crashing. Uh, okay, this is going to take us to an Ancestral Tomb. I mean, I guess they could be in the Ancestral Tomb somewhere, but... That's a weird little thing right there. Like... Look at that. Why is there a little ridge on that? Rue, what's up, my Remember guy? Subscribe <laughs> Hello! For 26 months. Thank you what's for the Tier 2 sub, man. I appreciate that. 
uh, Mass Effect, Scooby-Doo. Oh, by the way, Rue, I don't know if you know, but Wednesday we're starting uh, Scooby-Doo. I forget. That's a face. Never tell me otherwise. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, is it Night of 100 Frights? I can't remember if it's Night of 100 Frights or the Spooky Swamp one or what, which one it is. But we're starting one of them on Wednesday. What time? 5.30-ish. <laughs> usually, usually 5.30-ish. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming you're doing something. You'll be at work. That sucks, man. But yeah, that's when we always do the games that, like, we're working on beating. So, like, <laughs> I don't really have much control over it, sadly. But, yeah. <laughs> it's the only time I have to, like, actually beat games. Schedule later just this once. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I didn't even see the message before I answered, but yeah. I mean, the VOD, it sucks that you won't be able to interact, like, in real time, but the VOD will be up on Twitch if you do want to, like, see it later. Um, and we usually go from 5.30 to 9.30. Or 5.30 to 9, rather, not 9.30. So, like, I'll be on for a bit. So, until 6 o'clock your time, if you'll, uh, if you'll be home, like, later or whatever. But, yeah. Oh, you're a person. You're probably not a friendly person, but you're a person. Yeah, you're definitely not a friendly person. That's the wrong weapon! Okay, that was actually pretty easily. Are you the new person that they were talking about? I don't know. But anyways. Don't get off till 7 p.m. your time. <sighs> That's, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. By the time you end, I'll just be getting off, yeah. That wouldn't be, that would be 9 p.m. my time, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize, my guy, but yeah. Like I said, I know it's not the same, but VODs and things will exist. I mean, they don't go up on the YouTube channel for like a couple of months usually. Because I'm a couple of months ahead of, of YouTubes, but it'll, the VODs will be left on Twitch. I'm surprised that person down there hasn't seen us yet. Oh, he's seen us now. Okay. Oh, God. Of course it wore out, like, at the worst time. Get wrecked. You're dead now. Oh, shit. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. This is real bad. Um, I think I'm dead. Uh, duration zero seconds. Maybe not. Okay, hold on. I am allowed to use spells during magic. Or during magic, during, during fights. I'm just not allowed to use items. So we do have a scroll of healing here. Ah. Uh, we both died, man. Oh, that sucks. At least we took a nap down here by the fire and stuff. Well, I guess we actually took a nap back here, but whatever. It doesn't matter. We didn't do anything after we got here. So there's no point in worrying about it. Yeah, because we literally just turned around here and went back the other way. Because there's no enemies in this section. Ow. Rip. You rip. rip a -roni macaroni in the pot. That's the wet. That's the wet. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm very tired, as per usual. But don't mind me anyways. I'm so low. Maybe changing. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry, man. I really am. We would have to redo the entire schedule <laughs> to do it. I don't have another day that I can play games. This is the worst thing ever. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the worst to ever happen. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we we always do the games to complete on Wednesday. Like the games that we finish on Wednesdays. At like 5.30 to 9. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You're making mac and cheese? Is it the wet? Ass pussy. 
<laughs> oh god. I do feel bad, man, but yeah. Where's my bargain rising force potion or whatever it's called? Quality. Not quality. I want bargain. Here, I can just search, I guess. Rising force. Sneak off to watch? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Noodle's got the right idea. Just just tell the boss you're not feeling too well and you have to hide in the bathroom for four hours. It'll be fine. <laughs> they literally have the site blocked. That's what data's for. It's fine. I'm surprised they have Twitch blocked, though. Like... That is weird to me. Since we know there's people in here now, we can use that data. That data, that information, rather. Belt of Armor of God. Get that. Get this. What was that noise you just made, my guy? Anything not work-related is a security risk? I mean, I get that. And I do more or less agree with them, but like, no, this is rude. Okay, holy crap, man, his magic hurts. No, use the spell, you bastard. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate magic in this game so much. Why can I not? Oh, was I crouched? Or no, it's probably because I was still flying, huh? I don't know. I was trying to run up to him so he couldn't hit me with so many lightning spells, but... I wonder, do we have, like, a resist magic spell or anything like that? Is that even a thing? I don't know. Alright, do the thing again. Bargain Rising Force. Drink that. Go up here. Yeah, it seems like we can't run when we're flying. So I guess I'll just have to wait here until it runs out. But it shouldn't take long. It's only 16 more seconds. 16 seconds. Tummy issues? Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I got you. You were talking to Rue. I thought you were saying, like, you had tummy issues or something. I was like, oh, no. What's wrong, Noodle? But you're fine. Never mind. Hey, we're not flying anymore. Okay. Stand up. And then... We don't need the belt of armor of God for the first one. The second dude, like, never notices us. So just, like... I'm gonna quick save again, because it's not like we did anything. It's literally just running here from over there. I like this person. This person sucks. And I do have a plan for the other person this time around. First plan is belt of armor of God, of course. And then pulling our weapon back out. And then it's getting his attention... And then it's running the hell away and making him come to me over here. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, you're not the person we were looking for, though, are you? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Drain willpower, paralyze for five seconds. I mean, we don't use staves, but it's kind of neat. Almond shirt. I'll take your 20 gold. I mean, I'll take the staff, I guess. Why wouldn't I? I have the carry weight for it right now. And then I'll steal all your stuff. Especially the levitate potions. Those are pretty sick. So many levitate potions, too. I mean, I guess they kind of need them to, like, get up here. Oh, a diamond. Very nice. Lock splitter. Also nice. Longsword. Skull of healing. Always cool. Thief? Uh, they try to murder me. They're just a bunch of bandits. It's okay to steal from murderous bandits. I'm not stealing from, like, people. That would be rude. Uh, lockpick. Lockpick? Lockpick. Hey, success. 400 more gold? I'll take. Thank. Many thank, game. Now we really don't want to die, though, because if we die now, we have to redo that fight again, and I'd really rather not. What was I going to do? I need to drink water. <laughs> Rat murder, Anthe. The rats had it coming. Sleep amulet? Eh, it's not worth enough for me to take. 
hydrate? Have you considered hydrating? Lele attack just redeemed hydrate. And points for one second, so that's literally like 10 points. No. We're not taking that. Uh, screw it. I'll take the skooma and I'll definitely take the ruby. Hydrate! I don't know why, but like when I saw your message out of the corner of my eye, Noodle, I thought you said you were drinking vanilla cheese. And like, <laughs> I was very confused. I'm like, one, where the hell do you get vanilla cheese? And two, why are you drinking it? Like, eating it would be one thing, but you're drinking vanilla cheese? <laughs> Love me some vanilla cheese. It's everybody's favorite after all, man. Oh God, did they both see me? Oh, you have a lot more, like, damage resistance than the other people do. Did the other one see me, too? Is he gonna come up here? Thick vanilla. I like it real thick and juicy. Oh, God. Is that, like, an alligator bro? The alligator bro suck. Oh, no. It's just a goblin, dude. He he's whatever. You're dead. Why can I not... Okay. Oh, was that a summoned dude? Okay, that's fine then. Whatever. It didn't know ne Nelvolo? I don't know. Rue, why you're here though, man? Um, I'm still very sorry, but have you seen Pal World at all? I know you have a gaming PC now. Have you looked into Pal World? Do you plan on playing Pal World? Anything like that? Cloth sack. I will steal your moon sugar. Many thank. Are both trapped and locked. I don't know if I'll be able to pick the lock without magic, but I can get rid of the traps. Okay, that wasn't a very good show of me getting rid of the traps, but we can, we can do it though. I promise. Oh, nice, dude. See, <laughs> we're so good at it. Uh, <laughs> where's my lock pick? Okay, just failed, so it is possible for us to do. It just might be a bit hard for us to do. Wait. Wait, we have a thing. Chameleon. Sneak. Skill security. His ring. Magic ring for the win. Look at that. Freaking gods we are, dude. Chest of fire? Fire shield? Situationally, could be very good. Daedric Spear is worth a crap ton of money. 20,000? We're definitely taking that. And the gems. And the gold, of course. Situationally, could be very good, but I don't have the carry weight for it, so we're leaving that. Hackle low leaf, take. Cloth sack. Uh, I was really hoping we could take a rest here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just want to get another save in. It's kind of cheesy to do it, but the rules allow it. So isn't there a bed back here? Yeah. Hammock? No. Okay. Is that it? Or is there any more? That's it. Without going all the way back down there. Well, hopefully we don't die. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's, uh, let's heal a little bit. Restoration skill increased. Always nice. Did we check these chests? Yeah, I think we did. I hope there's not too many people in here. This looks like the end of it, so I'm assuming the boss boy is going to be down here. Uh, okay, and then belt of armor of God. Oh shit, you, you came out a lot faster than I thought you would. I'm proud of you for coming out, though. Are you the guy that I'm looking for? I'm really hoping you're the guy I'm looking for. Let's go, dude. Rel's Tenum, that's the guy. Steel Broadsword of Hewing? Hewing? Fortify Skill Longblade. Nah. We don't need it. Common Clothes. Bunch of steel stuff that's not worth anything. A Spark Sword. Why were you using the Spark Sword? I mean, I guess the Spark Sword's technically a little bit stronger. And it does have shock damage to... Yeah, I guess it was probably the better option. But I don't know, man. The other one seems better to me. Oh, I'm like out of carry weight. Of course I am. 
Hatch trapped. Everything's trapped. Must have read that at some point. Potion of jump. All the levitate potions, please. Journal page. We've struck a bargain with evil. While I am uncomfortable and feel some unease with our current arrangement, I believe these warns will serve us well for some time. Those who hope to destroy me uh, must be of stout spirit and cunning mind, for if they simply forge ahead in these caves, they may meet a fate far worse than death. When we first discovered these caves and began our explorations, we were sure we had found refuge from our enemies. Little did we know, as we pushed into the interior galleries, what we would find. In the final chamber, we came upon the ruined portal to a vast tomb. First, we were eager to chance upon some riches to fill our coffers, but instead we found ourselves within the nest of deadly creatures. By our wits and skill of arms, we were able to retreat from the dark lair. For a time, we sealed the entry, but the threat continued to gnaw at us. It was Giddon who conceived the plan with which we presented to those beings of darkness. In return for our right to dwell within these caves, we provide sustenance for these creatures. To assist us in this venture, we've created a lore, a path for the bounty hunters and meddlesome folk to follow. The unwary will find themselves in the clutches of a black fate. Mavrulia is very unhappy with the current conditions, and I'm finding myself concurring. This cannot come to a good end, but we must stay the course until a new safe hold can be found. So yeah, okay. So that other section over there was just a red herring so it's a good thing we came the way that we did basically uh but we need to drop some stuff i don't know what any of this stuff is man what are we carrying that's like so heavy dwemer left bracer we can drop that for sure Tower shield's worth two grand. I don't want to drop it, but we might kind of need to because, like, this stuff's worth a lot more. Any of this stuff that's just, like, sucks, we can go ahead and eat it if it's not worth anything. We get a tiny bit of uh, alchemy skill for eating low level or just for eating anything if we find out what effect it has. It'll free up some weight for us, too. <laughs> Just eat some emeralds. It's fine. I want to keep the marshmallows because, yeah. Healing potions. Just down all the moon sugar. It's fine. War hide. We can, we can eat these hides. That's good. A rue brush. We eat the rue brush. I'd like and maybe... Rama root will eat it. Quick and willow anther. That has restore health on it, right? Yeah, so we'll eat these. Okay, that took us down to 471. We can carry 10 pounds, more or less. Block skill increased. Very nice. Silver spark axe. Not worth the money. Or the money? The weight, rather. And then I need a lockpick. We got... Well, we should probably probe first. We got some probing to do. Hold on. Where's Caius's ring? Equip that again. Oh. Perfect. Oh, that's not trapped. Okay. Lockpick. Really? We failed. With magic and everything. Dwarven short sword. Don't we already have a dwarven short sword? Oh, we have a jinx sword. 7 to 12. This one's a little bit stronger, but this one paralyzes people. So honestly, I think the paralyzation is much better uh, than the, the two extra damage or whatever. Restore fatigue. Um, nah. What's it worth? 55? No. Take gems, take money, and next one. More gems. These guys really like their gems, don't they? Oh, shit. Stop using that. Stop. Stop using that. <laughs> God. Or gold. A whole lot of nothing, basically. All right. Take a nap. 8 p.m. We'll take a 12-hour rest. Uh, eat and drink. 
Doodle, thank you for the five bits, love. Appreciate that. Uh, escape, save. 23. The reason why I wanted to save while we were in here, although I could have done it like somewhere a little bit closer to where we're going, I guess, is they mention like how dangerous the ancestral tomb is that's on the, the other end of this cave, like the direction we went first. So now I'm just curious, like what's over there? How dangerous are the things in here? And do they drop anything tasty? Literally or otherwise. Oh, okay. We're just like getting straight into it, I see. Skeleton champion. But I hate the noises in these tombs, man. They're scurry. Who's next? Anybody? No? Oh, there's another skeleton. Oh, there's another door. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, it's a corpse. <laughs> it's not even a skeleton. I guess maybe it's like one of the ones they killed before... Nope, you're coming to me. I'm not coming to you. Oh, wait, this is already out of charge? Okay, well, that sucks. A bone lord? I'll show you a bone lord. Wink. Common belt trash. We have more than enough bone meal to last us a lifetime or two, though. How is this potion of cure? Oh, wait. Cure blight disease is useless to us. We cannot get blight disease. Oh, there's people down here? I did not expect there to be people down here either. Why are you so, like, hopped up on caffeine, lady? Seriously, though. Chill. Also, why is my dagger not doing, like, anything to you? What magic are you using? Why can I not hit you? <laughs> Is it because you're so hopped up on caffeine? <laughs> are you just like freaking you're moving around like the flash? What's the thing he does where he just becomes like it, not invisible, <laughs> but can like phase through things and whatnot? <laughs> I cannot hit this lady. My god. Marara? Taking your gold. Oh, you're a vampire. Well, you're a dead vampire now. Probing time. I would like to probe you, sir. If you don't mind. Thank you. And a trash ring that we're not going to pick up. Perfect. Ooh. Photo flower? I don't know what that is, but I'll take an empty chest. This was worth our time. Good. <laughs> Other way! I don't know if we get, like, sneak skill from just walking around sneaking, or if it's only when, like, we actually hide from things. What popped up as, like, an interactable there? Uh, whatever. Bro, if this is all they were scared of with some basic ass skeletons and a single vampire, then like... Wait, seriously? That was it? Bro, what? <laughs> what were they so scared of? It was one skeleton, a bone lord, and a vampire. That was it? There wasn't even any like real treasure there to collect or anything. Absolute garbage. Alright, well... World map, we're going... We need to go back here to the Wolverine Hall. So as long as we keep traveling more or less southeast, we should be good. Uh, where's my... 
Am I any good with spears? Spears are probably a different weapon type, right? Characters with great short blade skills are more effective with short, quick thrusting weapons like daggers, tanto, short swords, and waz wak wakazashis. It doesn't say anything about... I mean, this is a relatively small one. It is a stabby weapon. But does it count? <laughs> As a short blade? I'm guessing probably not. It's probably... Broadsword, sabers, longswords, claymores, katanas, daikatanas, effectively. So it's not that. Spear. Yeah, spear is its own thing. Okay. That's what I figured, but... Like, it's a Daedric weapon, so I imagine it's fairly... Oh no, it's actually way weaker than our Tonto. Never mind. Oh, no, no, it's not. Okay, Thrust does up to 40. It's che It's cheaper. It's weaker in every other uh, stat, but it's really good at thrusting. <laughs> Again, wink. Uh, <laughs> but we suck with it, so we'd be much better off with the Tonto here. Uh, I really don't want to cross all this water. Wish I was good with a bow and could just pick that stupid slaughterfish off, but I'm not... Bro, we're very cold as soon as we touch this water. This water must be freezing. Instantly, just very cold. Mm, I don't remember what that stuff is there. I don't think I can get in the, like, climb up there. So I almost wonder if just slowly swimming across this way would actually be better for us. Is that worth anything? It is. We'll take. I fish. You're not worth anything. Please don't freeze to death while we're slowly swimming over here, though. That would be a bad time. I don't have any way of, like, warming myself up, especially while we're in the water. your wax please sir <laughs> give me your wax i'm gonna switch back to the world map oh nope okay yeah we're going the wrong way it's this way oh bro i hear you where are you hello there you are why were you like invisible mr fish Back to swimming. I swear, there's more, like, creatures in the water than there are on land in this game. Oh, hi. There's... Oh, there's a lot of you. I mean, we're fine. I can kill each of you in, like, one to two hits, but, like... Bruh. Well, if I could hit you guys, that is. Try not to drown, though. That would be a bad time. <laughs> That's, that's the one situation I think we probably would lose that fight, you know? If we just drowned to death. So we'll try not to do that if we can help it, at least. No promises or anything, but... Gonna attempt not to. Got to tell you what my cashier did, but I taught her that they're bad and she's throwing them away. What? <laughs> what? Were they counterfeit? She bought lilies? And has them in her house. Wait, is this a co-worker? I'm assuming... Are lilies... Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Are they poisonous to cats? Because it sounds like they're poisonous for cats. <laughs> <laughs> poison <laughs> she didn't know okay it sounded like that was gonna be a thing i was gonna say wait is this a co-worker with cats because you i don't know if you know this or not love but you have multiple co-workers it's kind of hard to keep track of them all when you just say guess what my co-worker did and i don't think all of them have cats i know a lot of them do but <laughs> so i was gonna say because that's what i was thinking was that they are poisonous to cats? But I wasn't sure, to be completely honest. 
we could go through those ruins and get some like stuff, but I don't have any carry weight, so I think we're just gonna ignore it. Why are you guys and why is everybody always so angry in this freaking game, man? All I'm doing is trying to get back to town to turn in my stupid fighters guild quest. And all of you people want to die, I guess. You don't even have, like, good crap on you, man. I murdered you for your 25 gold, basically. Well, I mean, it was in self-defense, but... I murdered you so I didn't die and for 25 gold. Kind of trash. And her cat was acting scared today after her mom put something in the windowsill and she let her sniff the lilies. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I mean, a lot of plants are poisonous to humans, too. We're just smart enough not to eat random... Well, some of us are smart enough not to eat random things. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, like, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's like... It's really strange to me the number of things that were allowed to grow that are very poisonous to either our own species or other species you know <laughs> like very poisonous to ourselves to cats to dogs etc um and things like poppies it's, it's still so wild to me that you're just allowed to grow poppies you know like i don't think we shouldn't be allowed to but the fact that we <gasps> It's the white guar. Come here, white guar. Wait, what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to murder it? <laughs> Probably not, huh? Was I supposed to lead it? Once I got in range of it, it immediately began to move west. Oh, I'm supposed to follow it, aren't I? Hold on, let's double check the journal, but I think I'm supposed to follow it. No, options. Friend indeed? Was it that one? No, Dreams of White Guar. Uh, I've agreed to try and find the White Guar. She feels if someone can find this Guar, it would help her try Prosper. Uh, okay, whatever. Yeah, I think I'm just supposed to follow it. I'm gonna save again in case it crashes, but... With Lilies, just the pollen being in the house can make them sick? Aw, poor thingy. Well, kitty, I guess. Not just a thingy. <laughs> I think... I I hope it's okay. I hope it'll it'll continue to be okay. Because I, I would assume you would have heard about it if it wasn't okay now. We're cold and wet. That's it. Okay. I can deal with cold and wet. How far are you going to lead me, my guy? It'll be fine, but she's getting rid of the flower. Well, yeah, I would hope she is now. Or at the very least, like, I don't know if there's any rooms the kitty isn't allowed in or anything like that. But, you know, just keeping them, like, in completely separate rooms at the very least. Oh, is this what you're leading me to? Your blight disease on self. Restore health. Is it this amulet? Thank you, White Guar, I guess. Uh, did that update my... To a cluster of rocks and trees. Here I found the corpse of a woman who looks like she was once a healer. So yeah, I'm assuming it was just her amulet that we needed. Uh -huh. Well, whatever. Either way, I got the I got an amulet. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna leave them. I think she's going to love them to the laundry room until they die because she just got them and she spent like fifteen dollars on them. Okay. Leave them in, I think, is what you were trying to say. That makes sense. Yeah, I imagine that would be fine. But I'm not going to sit here and pretend to really know anything about it either, though. <laughs> a lot of people don't know a lot of those things, though. Like, the whole, uh... Who are you? Are you evil? But, like, the whole thing with not having, uh... Bruh, what's the anti-stick cookware called? Non-stick. <laughs> like having non-stick cookware. You know what? I don't want any quests right now. Teflon, yeah. Like not using Teflon pans if you have birds anywhere near your kitchen. Like, 
Yeah, like there's just so many people that don't know that. That's just an example. The lilies, of course. Isn't it like, is it lavender or something? There's another like plant where just the oil, like the 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 smell of the the oils and stuff can really screw with cats. I, I don't I don't think it's lavender. I know there's another semi-common plant that you're not supposed to keep around cats. Now, who were we doing this white guar quest for? Was it you? Or was it like... No, oh, damn it. My leg's broke. No more running and jumping for me. Okay. Not you. Would poinsettias say are poisonous to him? I don't think it was poinsettias I was thinking of. So I'm pretty sure there's one that just the... Like, smell of. Like... I just keep plants out of my house. I would like to have some plants in the house, you know, but obviously Google it first and see if they're safe. Oh, we're thirsty too. Uh, yeah, I found the white guar. Seen your journey in a vision. I know what the white guar led you to and I know who she was. In my vision, I saw you were led to the corpse of Ashamanu. She was a healer many, many years ago. She gave her own life to save the lives of others. It is said that she will give her life again and again so that others may live through her sacrifice. You witness a miracle, my child. You now hold the amulet of Ashmanu. I do. Thank you, child. This amulet will be the salvation of my people. Take this in return. It is a shield of legend among my people. The shield of the undaunted. Use it and you will feel the strength return to weary limbs. Travel well, friend. Uh, do I have the carry weight for that? Apparently I do. Oh, ho oh, oh, just barely. Okay. Is it even any good? Probably not. That was probably a waste of my time. Armor rating 34. 10 to 30 points for one second, so it restores some fatigue. Our current one is armor rating of 126, though, so yeah, no. It's four times as much armor rating, almost. So definitely not keeping it, but thanks anyways, I guess. Or do you have a bed? Eh, it's fine, I'll just put down a camp once we get out of the camp range. Ah! Why are you angry? I'm I'm friends with the Guar. Go ask the white one over there somewhere. He likes me. Oh, you're not a Guar. Well, shit, my bad, dude. Now I just feel bad. I mean, um, I was gonna murder you any either way though. You were kind of being a dick. Are you skeletons? You might just be people. I can't see that far. You might just be like... That's a pack, dude. So yeah, you're probably just like traveling salesman. Right? I'm sh You're fine. Yeah, okay. You guys are chill. Hello. You sell stuff. Do I know you? No, nah, I don't think so. Uh, nope. Do Neither I one of you sell anything. Well... Graze lands. Can we rest here in the graze lands? I just want to, like, take a short nap, you know. IRL and in game, honestly. This does not look like a comfortable place to sleep, but it's going to take us at least a few hours to get back to where we are. I'm just going to rest, like, for a long time. You're a dick. Six more hours. Wake me up in the middle of the night trying to eat my face. Uh, there we go. Food. Drink. Should be good. Oh, uh, save. Saving's always nice. Alright, and onward. Screw the mud crab. Not literally. How about murdering the mud crab? I don't have... Okay, I have some weight, I guess. The food and stuff that I... The food and water must have weighed a bit. 43. We can carry 485, I think, when we don't have the boon from the food we're eating. And do we just run down or do we take the boat? I kind of forgot the boats were over here. The boat would be faster. It is 209, so I don't have a ton of time left. And I want to make it to that camp tonight. 
We'll take the boat. Maybe we'll walk back the other way. I'm at 484. 485. Okay, I'm not picking up anymore then. Boats! Do any of you go to the Wolverine Hall or... What's the other one? Or Sadrith Mora. Also, you guys have shops here, right? So I would love to get rid of some stuff. How do I get up here? Oh, there's stairs over there. Can I just jump up here, though? Thanks. Mini thank game. Trade house entrance. That must be the back entrance. I think we did the same thing last time. How do we get to the main entrance, though? Aha! This one. Feels slower. I don't know if the amount of stuff we're carrying actually has any weight, like, effect, rather, on how we run around, but how quickly we can run around and jump and whatnot. Oh, I forgot I had moon sugar on me. It's fine. Yeah, here. This is what we'll do, man. Let me just grab this moon sugar that you hate so much. I'm going to put it right here on your counter, right in front of you. And uh, the skooma... The, like, boiled version of the moon sugar that you hate so much. I'm just going to go ahead and sit that right here in front of you. And now you'll shop with me. This is the dumbest mechanic in the game. By far, in my opinion. <laughs> like, the fact that people just will not trade with you at all if you have certain drugs in your inventory. But they don't care that you're holding it. They don't notify the guards or anything like that. You can put it down literally right in front of them doesn't affect them at all but god forbid if you have it in your pocket they are not gonna fucking trade with you <laughs> chocobo hello sir uh okay what can i what can i sell here you have a 300 hold gold so not getting the daedric spear um I can sell you never mind you don't buy that do you only buy ingredients i do have some that i'll gladly sell you but, like, they're pretty light. So I probably won't get to sell you much. I really wish there was, like, a sort by weight option. Stone flower petals? That sounds like it would be heavy. It's also not worth anything, though. Mm, scales? Mm, I can eat those to get rid of them. Uh, oh, you know what? The raw glass. I forgot about this stuff. This stuff's a lot. Okay. Anything not worth much here? Take all this bone meal from me. It actually got rid of a fair bit of our weight. Mm, we're good on food right now. Salt trees? I guess I'll just buy more salt trees. Do I even have enough stuff to mix with the salt trees, though? Because you need either, like, wheat or something. We have 52. Oh, wait. That's restore fatigue. Marshmallow. What was it that you mixed with marshmallow other than wickweed? I know there's another plant that you can mix with it. Maybe it is salt trees, and we just haven't discovered the uh <laughs> the thing yet. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, you can cook marshmallow. That's cool. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to buy these. Then I'll just take 300 gold from you. Goodbye. It goes well, sir. How is Chocobo tonight? I'll just take my skooma back, sir. And we'll be on our way. Are there any other shops around here? Farmhouses. Are these all just farmhouses? Looks like it. So probably not. Okay. Cold? Oh my god. Are you outside right now? Like out in your car or just outside in general or whatever? Because if so, I feel for you, man. <laughs> it is very cold. I think wind chill was what? Like zero, basically? I know when I was on my way home tonight, it said it was nine degrees before wind chill. Like... You take lunch in your car? I usually do, but when it's this cold out, I do not. <laughs> when it's this cold out, I just, I eat lunch in the building, so. 
Like, yeah, no, screw that. Uh, yeah, I did have to pick her up late because it was too cold. I had ice in the on the inside of my windshield. Um, obviously it was a little too moist in my car today, cause yeah, <laughs> but it's fine. And now I chain smoke. Reading. That's true. I quit smoking entirely. I use no forms of tobacco anymore. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you've ever tried it, but he's a chain poucher. Yeah, <laughs> nicotine replacement therapy. <laughs> Giving up the nicotine uh, hasn't gone over so well. But I was able to get off of tobacco, so I'll take it. <laughs> Same thing. I don't have to go outside. <laughs> and there's no tobacco in it, so no cancer. Probably. I mean, like, <laughs> everything causes cancer, so, you know, it's still a possibility. But... <laughs> As far as we know, nicotine in and of itself doesn't cause cancer. And all this is is a uh, small cloth pouch with uh, some flavoring and nicotine in it. So, like, <laughs> probably not cancer causing. It's definitely not healthy. I don't suggest anybody do it. Unless you're already, like, smoking or using tobacco of some other sort then like why not i guess switch to that instead so what do you want oh my god why do you care about the moon sugar and crap honestly i think i'm just gonna leave here this is what we're gonna do i'm just gonna <laughs> down all the moon sugar i don't think you can get addicted to stuff in this game right that's a fallout exclusive thing i'm pretty sure there we go Look at our carry weight, man. <laughs> it just went up to 685 out of nowhere. That's beautiful. No wonder people do so much skooma. 800 gold? That's like the most we've seen in a while. Tried it, wasn't bad, but didn't satisfy. Yeah, I think the only reason why I was able to relatively, like, make the switch relatively easily is because I was already off tobacco for like two years-ish, something like that, three years, because I did the whole vaping thing. Um... So I was already not getting the added chemicals from smoking because one of the reasons why smoking is so addictive is not only nicotine, which is a highly addictive chemical, but then there's a, what is it, like a, a GABA blocker, beta blocker, something. I forget what it is, but there's, there's some sort of other, there's another uh, compound when tobacco is used that interacts with your brain right like alters your brain chemistry and whenever that is used with nicotine it makes it much more addictive um so like <laughs> cocktail should keep you from nicotine overdose yeah <laughs> but uh so anyway yeah i was already off of the the tobacco so i was halfway off of the addiction from it already so it was much easier for me i feel like to switch from that to nicotine replacement therapy um and i did at first go to like legitimate nicotine replacement therapy but then i found out that these are a hell of a lot cheaper and contain no tobacco so i just went with that instead because yeah money you only have bar bro i thought that was a bong uh do you only have bargain crap bargain and spoiled crap that's great I don't want to quit, but I know I'll be bored. <laughs> I just love, I just love the describing it as being bored is the problem, you know. That's <laughs> oh my god, that's great, my guy. Are you? Is wasn't there like a whole section of shopkeeps, like a whole outdoor market over here somewhere? What was that? Is it? Is it you? Yeah, here we go. Not Speed you, your guards, line. but just you people in general. Oh, man. With pouches, you can play where did I sit my pouch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brother quit like eight years ago and says he still craves it, and that scares me. I, I mean, I will admit, you know, I'm not here to bullshit anybody. Every once in a while, I have a craving for... Honestly, for me, it's more vaping than for smoking, but every once in a while I do crave just like a cigarette, you know, like certain situations, like every once in a while after eating a meal, 
I'll be like, all right, I should probably go smoke a cigarette. And then I'm like, wait, I don't smoke, you know? Or like when the day is just really bad, really stressful. Because like another thing with smoking is it's not just the nicotine, right? It's also the whole ritual of it, you know, getting away from whatever bullshit is bothering you, uh, lighting up and just taking a few minutes to relax and breathe while you, you smoke the cigarette. Breathe. Uh, <laughs> like, so there's that whole ritual of it that has still stuck with me forever you know just the the urge to just like walk away smoke and all that stuff um and then like every once in a while man i'll just have like a random dream and i'll be smoking in my dream and i'll wake up and be like man i would love a cigarette right now you know weird stuff like that but i started smoking when i was very young and didn't quit until i was like my mid-20s so I was a smoker for probably, like, what, 12, 13 years, something like that? No. I must have quit a little bit earlier than that. I was probably, like, early 20s. So probably, probably, like, 10 to 12 years that I was a smoker. And, uh, so, I mean, that's a long time to have a habit and then to just quit, you know? It sticks with you. Any minor event, eat, smoke, shower, smoke, driving? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same thing. I don't think shower was ever one for me, but... But eating for sure, waking up for sure, coffee, coffee and cigarettes were a thing, um, you know, uh, playing games. I smoked a lot whenever I'd play games and stuff because I'd kind of lose track of it. Because uh, when I when I was like just doing my normal day to day business, I would try to actually keep a pay attention to the clock and keep myself from smoking too much. But like playing games especially super late at night you know because you start to get tired and then you start smoking more to help fight off the the exhaustion and all that stuff and like yeah you're on 17 that sucks man you've never smoked in a dream now that you mention it so <laughs> here's one funny thing about doing nicotine replacement um because with the pouches or the the uh the lozenges that i used to do or whatever I, you're not supposed to keep them in while you sleep, but I I do. I go to sleep with them in my mouth all the time. So, and it's a constant release of nicotine instead of like that hit and then wind down and then hit and then wind down. So now I feel the need to have nicotine 24-7. So like I will wake up in the middle of the night craving nicotine and then I'll have to throw like a new pouch in my mouth and then <laughs> and then go back to sleep. It was the same thing for the short period of time in my life when I rubbed snuff. I had the same problem. Because um, I would fall asleep with it in my mouth again. And then, like, yeah, I would wake up in the middle of the night and have to switch out my... Because I used the pouch-based snuff as well back in the day. Because I just didn't like the crap getting loose all over my mouth. And, uh, yeah, so I'd, like, spit one out and have to get a new one in. And bleh. Sorry about your Emerald Nuzlocke. That sucks, dude. How many tries are you on on that now? playing a game or something that takes your attention you can go hours without smoking i'm not gonna say i've never done that but a lot of times because like especially with rpgs and things like that right because like a lot of times i'm just playing an rpg because i'm zoning out and just kind of chilling or whatever so like i'll just be playing and smoking at the same time and like yeah pouch game wouldn't work if i lose a pack i'll just open a new one until i <laughs> It's a tad difficult. Well, <laughs> I'm excited for it, man. Excited to see uh, how much we get our, our asses beat whenever we get to it. Because I love Pokemon. I'm not very good at Pokemon, though, to be honest. You're not going to buy, like, any of the crap I have except for... Oh, wait, yeah, this Shield of Undaunted sucks. We can sell that. Um, detect key, maybe. Medusa's gaze, maybe. Don't our clothes do, like, this stuff now? Chameleon and Sanctuary? Chameleon. I guess we don't have Sanctuary. Oh, wait, yeah, we have Sanctuary on Belt of the Armor of God. So we can sell this, too. You don't buy jewelry? My god. Uh, I'm about to just sell him something super expensive. Oh, wait, you'll buy the staff. That's not super expensive. Like, how much would you give me? Yeah, see, that's 11,000. He only has 800. That's losing a lot of money. Garbage. 
What I hear red and blue aren't bad. Emerald is mid, difficulty, ruby, sun, white gen is hard. Okay. Good to know, I guess. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I don't think Pokemon red, blue, yellow will be too bad. Um, I think the worst part will be the Elite Four and the early game. The mid game in that game seems to be very easy, to be honest. But like, yeah. He opens a new one when he loses them too. I'm talking about the physical pouches. He will sit on a napkin or plate when he eats. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because like I take them out when I eat, of course. And then uh, like I'll sit it on the corner of my plate or something like that. And then uh, like accidentally throw everything away on the plate and then I'll have to get a new one. Or, uh, yeah, if I lose, like, a can, I'll just open a new can until I find it. That's actually, I have two cans empty, or two cans open right now for that very reason. Because, uh, <laughs> I sat one down somewhere, lost track of it, and so I just opened another one. <laughs> yeah. My bad. You only have 500 gold, but that's something. Uh, I'm just selling you random crap. I don't care what it is. So there's no sorting by weight, so why worry about it? Oh, too much. I'll take one of these diamonds back. 545. Am I willing to lose that much money? I think I am, just to clear up some inventory. Offer. Goodbye. This one more person. Elagil. Elagal. You just buy anything? You only have 500 gold as well, though. Do you buy rings? Thank God. And then random jewelry and crap? Awesome. Oh, Vampire Dust is worth a lot. Red Lichen? 498. Um, Stone Flower Petal. Shoot. Anything else that's only worth one? Rat Meat. Here. Take one Rat Meat from me, please. <laughs> now take all 500 of your gold. Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. Let's get some fishing line and tie it. Uh, I would, like, accidentally swallow the fishing line, and that just sounds like a bad time, man. I can already see it happening. Double battle gym kick mass. Wo Wobafet? <laughs> I don't know why I could not read Wobafet. Use Destiny Bound and killed my anchor. My god, dude. So I am excited for it. I'm excited for my first Nuzlocke in general, and I'm excited for the challenge of them. Like, I've seen a lot of Pokemon challenge runs, and I would love to do some... I, I love the idea of challenge runs in general. That's why I want to get through these Bethesda games. Because, like, doing a challenge run with no... Ooh. With Speed no uh, knowledge of the game, I think will be terrible. But once I know a little bit about Morrowind, Skyrim, Fallout, etc., um, that's what I want to do. I want to do challenge runs of them. Because that's where I think the real fun will start. Maybe just one of these? Uh, that's pretty close. Green Lichen's worth like nothing. Ashiam. Coat of Flower. There we go. Good enough. Offer. Goodbye. I wish there was a skill in this game like there is in Skyrim to give merchants more money, man. Just so we could get rid of our crap more easily. That's just a house. Well, whatever. We can turn on our quest. And like I said, I think I have a lead on the main quest line now. Which is exciting. That's a dirty, <laughs> dirty murals. Yeah, it did. Okay. What are we? We're thirsty. Uh, water flask is empty. That's a water catcher or water jug. Okay. I don't understand why this isn't just, like, part of the town over there. I'm guessing because, like, I'm guessing this is, like, an Imperial establishment. And they didn't want the Imperials Let's right see. next to the natives over there. Anytime. Like, well, probably the natives didn't want to be right next to the Imperials. So they were like, nah, bruh. You're not chilling here. You're going over there. So they built their fort, like, off to the side. I have no idea if that's true. That's just my guess. I remember. Do you guys do any training for me? Oh, so that was this about? that wasn't even a useful skill for me. Yeah, no, you don't teach me anything. Okay, is it you? Corporate stalker, five hundred gold. Thank you. 
And I also did... Um... Sprell's Tenum. Sprell's Tenum is dead. Good work. Here's the 200 septums for the contract. Really? You gave me more money for killing the Corpus dude than you did Rels? Rels was much harder. Ah, why can't you advance me? How many more things do I need to do for you to advance me, man? Hey, wait! We did get advanced. Hell yeah. Will you sell me stuff now? Ha, ah, you suck! What's the chance of getting... No. I was going to say, I don't think he would advance us again, but it would have been handy if he did. What are our new orders? Loda Sujama to the Dunarai Caverns? Workers in the Addis Mine have been complaining that they're out of Sujama, and the Fighter Scale is responsible for supplying the Imperial Mines in Vardenfell. Take this Loda Sujama to Nelikar in the Caverns. Southeast of Ghostgate, between the Foyada Asanudan and the Foyada Asherdan. What? <laughs> okay, so don't sell the Sujama that we have, is what he's saying. How much does that weigh, though? Oh my god. Does that weigh three each? Or like three total? Three each. Bro. <laughs> Wait, where'd the rest? Okay. Hail and welcome, friend. Hail. I literally can't walk when I'm carrying it all. Bro. <laughs> How are you just going to do this to me? How are you just going to throw all the Sujama on my backpack and tell me have fun? Oh, my God. I don't even know. You won't sell me stuff. Okay. I, if I eat some meat... Of course, it had no effect on me. Do I have any fortify strength? I do not. Okay. Time to start eating stuff, I guess. Oh, wait. Our carry weight did go up. Oh. Huh. We just didn't get, like, a thing on it when we ate it. Okay, cool. So we can carry it now, but we need to find someone to sell more stuff to. Or is there is there a chest in here that I can safely store stuff in? Got a few minutes if you need something. Chest, chest. Aha! The equipment chest. I can probably safely put stuff in here. So this Daedric Spear. Ah uh, no! I'm not allowed to put stuff in. I'm only allowed to take stuff out. Bro. Are there any, like... Damn it. Can I, like, steal put stuff in here? I'm gonna save first. God, it's worth so much money that I'm just, like, tossing into this for convenience sake. Okay, none of this weighs anything. It must be, like... Oh, it's this glass, man. I keep forgetting about the glass. Item will not fit. That's stupid as hell. But yeah, that's almost 100 pounds. We still have so much weight on us, though. I hate this. I hate this so much. Whatever. Leave that there. You guys aren't mad at me, right? Okay. Cool. So where's this place they want us to go? I don't even want to go there right now, though, because I want to do... Southwest of the Ghost Gate. Or I think it was Southwest, right? Uh... Whatever. We're going to ignore it for now. We're going to go up to the camp here, and then we'll see where the camp takes us, and then we'll go from there. God, I have no idea where I'm at now. Help. I'm lost. Okay. I remember where we're at, more or less. Uh, Wolverine Hall. 
We're outside. That probably didn't hurt. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> I hate this place. <laughs> it's just so confusing. Um, this way. Here we go. So I need to go back over to that boat and basically go where I just came from. I think that'll be the quickest way around. Although it might take us even farther, which would be nice. It's so nice, like... I don't think it's built into the game. I think it's one of the mods, but all the lights like turning on. Weird shadows. I don't know where they were coming from. Did I already barter with you? I did. You're out of gold. Okay. Bye bye. If I can push the main quest forward a little bit, I totally will. Speaking of Pokemon Chocobo, have you seen Power World? The game that everybody's calling Pokemon with guns. I'm pretty sure you don't have a gaming PC. I don't, I really don't have think you have an so Xbox weird. either. So, like, I guess it wouldn't matter to you. But, like... <laughs> Rue, you're back! I asked you about it earlier, my guy. Do you plan on getting it, Rue, on your PC? If you do, send me a DM. I mean, or you can just tell me here and I'll send you a DM later. Um, but, yeah. I've been playing it a little bit with some friends, um, like on the same server, and it's fun. It's it's more like Ark and less than like Pokemon, but it's still a ton of fun. <laughs> Got hella distracted playing math. Hey, no problem, man. I totally get that. No worries there. Um, but yeah, I'll have to try to remember to send you a DM. I might. No promises of any type. <laughs> But I might play a little bit of it tomorrow on stream. I'm definitely playing a little bit of it tomorrow. But depending what's going on, like what all I got going on, I might stream it. I might not. Oh, you're the wrong boatman. No, you're not the one I want. Is it the big boat over here? Where's the boatman that I that I actually want? It's still relevant in two months. We'll talk. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough, man. Like I said, it's 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 a survival game first and foremost, and you get to like capture creatures like you would in uh, in a game like Ark, right? I'm waiting. Um, I haven't actually played Ark, granted, so I don't know much about it, but that's what everybody tells me is that it's very much so like Mar Ark. Um, but yeah, so like you capture creatures, and then you can have them like help you do your farming, your uh, resource waiting. gathering, etc. And obviously you can also use them to help you fight like, you know, bosses or other creatures or, or whatever. You can also eat them, which is a whole thing. Um, but I mean, it's canon in Pokemon that Pokemon get eaten. So that's fair. Um, just stuff like that. You know, it's, it's a survival game. <laughs> It's fun if you like survival games. If you're not into survival games, probably not going to be for you. Um, but I'm enjoying it. Honestly, the part that sold me on it was whenever I found out that you can have, like, full assembly lines filled with Pokemon slaves and uh, farms and things like that. I was a little disappointed the farms are just, like, really small. They call them plantations because it's just, like, a square uh, to grow, like, this square just grows berries, this square just grows wheat, or whatever. I was hoping it was more, like, actual farming, like, say, you know, insert name of farming game here, I guess, you know? Being able to, like, lay out fields, and then the, the mon will just help you with the various fields and stuff. And it's not, so I was a little disappointed, but it was still, it's still a lot of fun. And I like survival games and, uh, progression like base progression and all of that stuff. So it's fun. So if anybody's interested in seeing it, not sure if they want to get it or not, I'll most likely uh, play it on stream at some point, possibly tomorrow, a little bit. If I do play tomorrow though, 
I want to get a uh, private server set up first. Uh, oh, you were the guys that I thought would sell stuff, but didn't. I remember you guys now. Because I have like a uh, a server for just gaming friends. Um, that's what I want to DM you about, Rue. I can send you the info if you want to get on it. Uh, but I would want one like where I can do my own base and all that stuff because we're all partied up in that server. So we like share the same base and I can't just like go make my own to show the game from the beginning or anything like that. I mean, I could start like a single player game, but I planned on starting a second server anyways with a little bit harder rules. Like disabling fast travel, enabling PvP, stuff like that. So I might as well start the progression on that server if I'm gonna start over again. Or stream anyways. I've never even like watched Rust, man. I've heard of Rust, of course, like... <laughs> Very well known, obviously, but I've never looked into it at all. It would probably be a game that I could waste a little bit of time with. I I think, honestly, like, even with, with Power World, Pokemon with guns, I think I'm going to get bored of it eventually, because I just get bored of multiplayer games in general eventually. Um, I feel like Rust would end up being the same way. But a lot like Power World, I feel like I would really enjoy it for at least a while before I started getting uh, burnout on it. Mm, I'm so tempted to like use potions because we have so many of them. Do we have like a potion of speed or anything like that? We have a bunch of rising force potions, but Potion of light? Screw it. Here you go. We have light now. Nice. Restore luck. Restore. Restore. Flynn? Willpower and strength. Now, oh, that would have helped us run around when we didn't have any weight, though. Restore fatigue. I'd rather save those. Here we go. Fortify speed. Give me that. Let's zoom, zoom. We're not zooming that much, but whatever. YouTube recommends Rust Tubers to you. You've been watching Spoon Kid for like a year now. I've never heard of him, but nice. I like his name. <laughs> Spoon Kid. Honestly, Stream is like the worst name in the world, man. Because like, there's no way to SEO that. Like, it's just <laughs> 100%. But since I'm just doing it as a hobby, I don't really worry about it. I considered probably like a year and a half, two years ago, changing the name to something that could actually be SEO'd a little bit. But then I was like, I don't care. <laughs> so I just decided not to. It's fine. If I decide it's that important, I can do it later. It's not like, it's not like we have millions of followers or anything where a name change would really be a big deal. So whatever. Wait, are you coming up here or not, Mr. Beetle. Can you not pathfind up here? Where are you going? Are you attacking the white guar? Don't attack the white guar. That's my friend. I'm, I'm admittedly I'm a little tempted to kill the white guar myself, but we're not going to. We're gonna let him live. I don't remember ever walking all the way around here like this. Apparently we did at some point, but... But I do not remember it. Not even a bit. Oh, hi. What game is it? I think it's Earthbound. Where, like, as you level up, if your level gets to be, like, a certain amount higher than a creature's level, they'll start actively running away from you instead of, like, running towards you to fight. I wish there was a system like that in this game. I mean, I guess having weak creatures constantly attacking you ensures that you're still getting some experience and everything. 
but like, bruh. <laughs> it's just kind of annoying. Like, these, these creatures at this point offer no challenge to us at all. It's just a distraction, something that makes us stop what we're doing, swing our sword a couple of times before we continue moving forward. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a mod or something for it, but I mean, it's the same in other Bethesda games like Fallout and the Skyrim and whatnot, of course. Now, you always have to deal with the low level mobs, just. I can't think of the word that I'm trying to think of, but low level mods con mods mobs constantly trying to eat you <laughs> things you can murder in just one hit with no effort oh hey it's this place i vaguely remember that place i don't want to fight the stuff in that place though i don't think we'll have a hard time killing them we just don't have the carry way for any of the decent stuff that they drop God, fatigue refills so slow. Are we like... It's because we're cold, probably. Can't do anything about that, though, so... Gotta head to bed. More work. Ugh, gross. <laughs> Have a good night, Rue. Thank you for stopping out, my guy. And I'll try to remember to DM you with the details if you want for the, uh, for the server. Because you're definitely a gaming friend. You're welcome to join. What are you in... Oh, my God. Paralyze. Tomorrow's gonna be fun, and yes, please, you got it, my dude. It is a little weird how to join the server, so if if you have problems, make sure you like message me or something. But I'll send you the details any either way. Have a good night, dude. Thank you again, man. Hopefully tomorrow's not too bad for you. Somebody's angry. Who's angry? Is another what I'm gonna call a scuttlebug because I still don't remember your real name. Shulk. Close enough. You need to stop jumping. As much as, like, jumping is helpful for getting your, your agility up and crap, it eats too much stamina. Need to stop with the jumping. It's the most ridiculous conspiracy theory you believe in, even if it's just a little. Uh, <laughs> the moon is fake. No. <laughs> That's just the one... I've seen, like, memes of, like, if there's a conspiracy theorist that's getting on your nerves, you just got to one-up them. Like, oh, you're one of those people that still believe in the moon, huh? So that's what instantly comes to mind. Um, I mean, like, are aliens considered a conspiracy theory still? Or is that just, like, a confirmed thing at this point? <laughs> I don't necessarily, I don't really believe that we've been visited by aliens, but I 100% aliens exist. You know? Like, there's no doubt in my mind, not even not even a small one, that aliens definitely exist. What other, like, popular conspiracy theories are there? There's the 9-11 one, I don't subscribe to that. Moon landing, I don't subscribe to that at all. Um... The Earth is flat? No. I guess you could consider, like, Bigfoot and stuff like that a conspiracy theory in a way, right? But I don't... I don't think Bigfoot exists. I do 100% believe there are creatures that have not been discovered, like, properly discovered and documented. But I don't believe Bigfoot is one of them. I think it's mostly, like, small creatures that live in, you know, the Amazon or the deep ocean or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm not sure. Like, aliens, man. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the only one. And again, I'm not even sure I would say I believe aliens have visited Earth, which to me is like the actual conspiracy theory. I mean, maybe. There's definitely like been things in the sky that we can't explain. But there's so many weird natural phenomena as well as like government agencies whether ours or others testing secret weapons that like it's so hard to say whether it's aliens or just 
some top secret project we're not supposed to know in or some strange weather effect or uh whatever the case may be but for me aliens man that's that's got to be it that's i'm not really a conspiracy theory person so there's not much i could even <laughs> much i could even say about it what about y'all though do any of y'all believe in any wild conspiracy theories even just a little you're trying to think of one? Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I get it, man. I'm not a conspiracy theory person at all. So, like, yeah. There's the meat glue <laughs> conspiracy theory. Uh, the chicken nuggets. <laughs> just being just being goo. That's another one. <clears throat> I don't... I mean, meat glue is a real thing, right? Like, they do take cuts of meat and glue them together with a safe to eat harmless glue um but it's not like you just go and buy a steak at Kroger's or whatever and like and the whole thing is just random cuts of meat that have been glued together like that's not <laughs> that's not what it is um COVID vaccine being a whole ploy to murder sterilize track people whatever I don't believe in any of that crap um, you know, like, there's just, <laughs> like, just most conspiracy theories that I can think of, I just don't believe even a tiny bit. Like, they're just too far-fetched for me, man. What other, like, conspiracy theories are there, even? Um... <laughs> I just thought of the bunnies from, uh, the 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 like secret of easter from south park like the tricks theory <laughs> wait <laughs> is it that is it is that the one where like the mandela effect has something to do with tricks and the reason we can't remember or misremember is because tricks are for kids i can't remember the details of it but is it something like that or is there another tricks theory that i that i either don't know of or can't think of at the moment <laughs> Mostly yes, okay. <laughs> I, I vaguely remember seeing or reading something along those lines at some point, but like I don't remember <laughs> much about it. Because, as we all know by now, memory not good. Memory, memory real bad. Hello! Hail and well met, stranger. Um, I need to speak to your wise woman. Well, so I think that's how know. I progress the story. I think. Can I sleep in your bedrolls? Cool. Uh, just an hour rest is good. That'll give me the right to save. Stream 23. Yep, yep, yep. What am I hungry or thirsty? Might as well take care of that before we talk to you too. There we go. All right, you. Go ahead. Do you have a question with narrative <laughs> or other questions to ask me, or do you bring me news of the lost prophecies? I bring you news of the lost prophecies. You have these lost prophecies. You will tell me these things over and over until I have them by heart, and then you will tell me what these priests say, what they see in these words, and then you must leave me. Hunt, sleep, train, feed, learn the land. I must bring these things into me and place them before my ancestors and listen to them into the skies and stars of my dreams. And then when the moons have come and gone, return and I will give you my judgment. You have told me of these lost prophecies. Okay. Oh, I don't actually have to wait. Perfect. The JFK assassination? I don't believe it. But... I think it's one of the more believable ones, right? And, like, what version are we talking of? Are we talking about, like, it was a hit by our own government sort of version? Or are we talking that, what was his name, George Orwell, was it? Um, was just, like, a fall man for it, essentially. I'm assuming, like, it was a hit by our own government <laughs> is the version you're talking about. And, like, I find that to be one of the more believable ones. But I don't believe it myself, you know? I just think that there were plenty of 
George Orwell was in Oh, is he, is he the one that did, uh... George Orwell, he's the one that did, uh... Oh, God. What's the name of that <laughs> that book? The one people talk about all the time with the whole... When they're mad about the government. 1984? Is that the one I'm thinking of? I can't remember. Probably. <laughs> but wait, so what's the, uh... <laughs> what was the dude's name? The guy that... They, they say one way or another that did the assassination. I don't remember. Told you. Memory, memory, no good. But what was I saying before that? Oh, yeah. Lee, Lee Harvey Oswald. George or Orswell. Harvey Oswald. Basically the same name. Uh, they both have an O in the last name. <laughs> and George and Harvey, that's basically the same name. Uh... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think there's been plenty of powerful people in the U.S. that have had just as controversial, if not more controversial, um, policies and opinions as as what JFK would have been pushing. And, like, they weren't killed for it. So, like, I, I just don't think that's what was going on there. Unless there's, like, another layer to the conspiracy theory. Like, maybe he was gonna disclose all the information about the aliens, and we just couldn't have that, you know? So, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the ancestors and stars have given me clear signs. The lost prophecies leave no doubt. The incarnate shall be an outlander. You, blessed by Azura, you must lift the seven curses of Dagother. Prophecy has shown the seven steps of the Nerevarine's path, and I have been chosen as your guide for each step on that path. I will read the signs and show you the way. It is time for you to walk the path of the seven visions and pass the seven trials of the seven visions. Tell me more. He's going to withdraw from Vietnam? Uh... I mean, we've done worse for less, I guess. <laughs> like, like I said, I do find it to be a believable one. I just don't think I personally believe in it, you know? Um... Yeah. Because, like... Why? We like our war here in America. There's nothing that brings the people together like war. I mean, it also tends to divide them a lot. Vietnam is definitely an example of that. But, you know... <laughs> besides the point... Post-war, post-war, we tend to really come together as a as a nation. But I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just can't, I can't wrap my head around the idea of it. Makes a lot of money too. That's true. Makes a shit ton of money for the people at in the top. One hundred percent. There's no, uh, no doubting that. The ancestors and stars have given me clear signs. Lost prophecies. You know, oh wait, you already told me that. You were born on a certain day to uncertain parents, so you had passed the first trial. My dreams show me that you also fill the second trial, that neither blight nor age can harm him. The curse of flesh before him flies. I have read the signs, but I cannot understand. Can you explain this to me? Uh, yeah, so basically I got corpus disease, and then one in a million shot I was cured, so now I can't be sick again. That you have overcome the curse of flesh is strange enough, but that it should protect you from blight and age is past belief. If the signs of the dreams are clear, you have passed the second trial, but the third trial is unfulfilled. The mystery of the third trial is not my secret to share. Go to Sol Matul, the guardian of our cult, and he shall tell you of the third trial. When you have fulfilled the third trial, return to me for guidance on your next step, Path of Nerevarine. I'm going to make a note of that because this is all we're playing tonight. Uh, can I take a screenshot? Did that work? Oh no, I'm not on Steam. Shit, okay, Alt-Tab. Hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. Because I definitely need to make a note of that. Because I will forget for when we come back next week. Um, bah, 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 bah. Okay. Those notes are done. So go to soul dash matul guardian of the cult. For info on third trial. After return to wise woman. Okay, cool. Now hopefully I won't forget that. All right. Goodbye, my lady. You Thank you for the info. And we're back on the main quest line. Thank goodness, because 
Let me tell you, man, I am ready to go on to Fallout 3. At some point. Hopefully sooner rather than later. I went through like all 478, 9 after tonight, 480 VODs on the uh, on the stream VOD YouTube channel um, during my vacation. And we've been playing Morrowind on and off now. We've skipped a fair few weeks of Morrowind to be fair, but it's going on to a year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is only stream 23, so that shows like how many we've actually skipped, um, be it due to illness or deciding to play other things or playing Final Fantasy 16 for a month and a half. But <laughs> two months to end up being two, it was a while. But I'm just I'm ready to move on to Fallout 3 for sure, for sure. Anyways, I'm losing my voice. It's uh, it's more or less three o'clock. So I think that's going to be it for us tonight, my guys. I do appreciate you all coming and hanging out with me, though. Um, if I do decide to play Power World tomorrow, I'll shoot a message on Discord. Like, uh, at least, you know, 10, 15 minutes before I hop on at the very least. Um, so if anybody wants to check out that, feel free. And yeah, if not tomorrow, I'll see you guys Tuesday night for something PS2 related. So have a good night, y'all. Thank you for coming out. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye. Oh, wait. Hold on. This is important. Save. Yes. There we go. Right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Damn. Vent, my guy. There we go. Can we stand up right here? Doesn't it look like we should? Oh, okay. There's a grate. I just saw the, like that it went up a little bit higher. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Always be the number one.